we're almost at the end of the month. It's the 29th of January um, and the pressure is on now. Um, we've got about today, tomorrow and Wednesday to find about another £100,000 of revenue for the sales team to achieve their first month of the year of 2024's annual target. Things are going well though. We've got you know really bottomed out now our sort of metric dashboards. Darren's got that, the first one going up on the screen this week in the sales room, um, which is an automated KPI display, which is gonna be pulling through all of the key business metrics that relate to the sales team um, up in front of them. And he showed me this morning, he's so close with the production one, which is gonna be pulling through their waste, their stats, their revenue for the in-house production department and we've got a screen on the way which is going to be put up in production over there so that really is front of people's face all the time um, so we're really pushing on that and then this afternoon is very much going to be around um, working with the finance team looking at the uh, some of the data issues we're having with with the zero and the nominal code changes that we've made uh, having a quick look over some of our expenses and where things are, are consistently creeping up over budget just to see if we can cut tr and trim some things i think as a small business owner or any business owner you've got to be on the expenses and the bills all the time because it just it bleeds and it just if you're not on it every single month monitoring every little penny it just gets bigger and, and one of the things we've been guilty of as we've got bigger we have got a little bit laxed and gone oh yeah it's only a tenner it's only five pound a month for that software it's only you know an extra two quid to buy from him you've got to treat it like it's always day one in my opinion um, and we need to be as frugal on cost every single day um, so that we can you know survive and thrive ultimately because the, you know the money isn't infinite and we need to be really cautious of where we're putting things and being a little bit frugal on how we're buying and not forgetting that you know technically speaking as, as you know Jeff Bezos would say you know one of the big things I took away from him from Amazon is, is it's always day one and there's so many different meanings to that but ultimately you know not forgetting how we first started and what got us here which was being really frugal and, and being really understanding making that the, the pennies go further um, so yeah that's my morning thoughts. One thing I've learned with this is I just don't think it's worth going in mad on price. What really cheap? Yeah, because it just comes back to bite you. But they're just, not going to win it. Well, yeah, but it's it's they're not worth the grief. They're just not worth the grief. Oh, I've just I did that council one the other week, and it's been nothing but stress since winning yeah, it. Yeah, but want to try and send like, Yeah, but you don't want to be doing do things this. for you don't want to be doing things, and then we're we're lost. It's loss making. Mm. Because we went in on that one at stupid prices, and they'd just been nothing but hard work. I would rather, I've literally, I've just said to them, we'd rather not do this work anymore because it's just not worth having. My take on it in terms of the speed would be, let's just say it's the five ounce tote, yeah. So you're gonna have that done by Friday, yeah. Yeah. So we'll sit down um, at about eleven thirty on Friday and, and review it. We'll then apply all the discounts, and then we'll get a strategy for all the clothing inside so that it's ready by the week after. Yeah. Um. But yeah, he said it'd be keen to work. Because obviously, he said tablecloths their biggest seller, but we might be the, really? they're, they're too expensive or whatever. But obviously, they're doing a lot. The size of their stand is unbelievable. Yeah, they're obviously doing a lot stuff. in the industry. Yeah, yeah. Huge. Sets. He said we do bundles, um, like starter pack, fabric counter, um, and he said you can take them apart and then people can rewrap them. But there's loads of stuff like in the photos. Yeah, they've got good some quality. good stuff. Yeah. yeah, like this is what I thought we could do with for out on the road. Yeah, how much I want to them? Don't know. Well, we could probably get them to give us a good price, but I thought if we had one of them out on the stands, yeah, 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 saying what we do, yeah, definitely. The services. Where are they based then? Leicester. Oh, he really? Said, he said we've got a whole display. If you go on their website, you can see it. they've got a whole part of their office is all open plan. They've got everything set up. And you can oh, walk around wow. it and see. But like they had these backdrops, and they just they plug it in, and it lights up. And they do roller blinders that light up, so all of the design is lit up with a LED in the middle. Why don't you um, set up a trip, and then we'll? Yeah. Sam can come with us, and we can go and. Get yeah. some video and stuff and see if we can start pushing it. Yeah, all right. When you get a minute. Yeah. See, and so then that'll be, spur us on to get it up. premium event all round. Yeah, it's like that. Hell. Full wrap. And if we, I mean, it's easy, isn't it? We've got a studio yeah. to design it, and that could, that could be five grand all the time. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll yeah, no, it. definitely. Yeah, let me know.
So, just wrapped up uh, a really good morning actually um, in Norwich at a Chambers of Commerce networking breakfast. I don't often invest the time in getting out and networking and meeting people, but I actually really enjoyed it this morning. It was a early start, left about uh, 6.30. Um, and headed up to Norwich, which was really good. Um, I met some actually incredible people. It was really, really, uh, you know, some of these networking events I've done in the past a few years ago, it kind of put me off a little bit because it was very sort of, I think I was just going to the wrong wrong places with the wrong people in, but um, this was really good. It was really interesting meeting different people from different backgrounds. Um, and I don't think it was just my intention going wasn't to go and win business as such it was more to try and you know meet with you know similar minded people that are, are really trying to be better than yesterday and you know have got different challenges and to hear how different people have, have managed to you know get past different things and it was really interesting a really good mix of different people in the room it was really interesting to hear about um the, the sort of business community in Norfolk and, and how that's changing and what the you know events and things are coming up this year and there was some some speeches from the team at the Chamber of Commerce and it was a really good event I'm really glad I did it made some incredible connections with people that could really help us actually as a, as a business with different things from um, IT and uh, financial planning and stuff like that all the way through to p people that actually weirdly enough said oh branded you do branded tote bags and mugs and stuff oh we need that and uh you know we could really do with you know finding a new partner so it was a really interesting event i'm really glad i've done it um so yeah all good it's about nine o'clock now I'm gonna head back to the office got a pretty jam-packed day um i'm feeling quite energized and buzzed and i think thoughts on my mind this morning is if you're um if you're in a rut yesterday afternoon i was in a bit of a rut um didn't feel much um, had a few snags, a few problems, and it sort of took me down. And uh, but today I feel quite energised, um, and I'm yeah going in get out of the environment. Had a really good chunk of thinking time this morning in the car. Um, yeah, not too bad, thank you. Thanks for the, uh, making the time. That's all right. So I'm sorry I'm a minute late. I've been trying to get off the last call. Ah, uh, you're all right, mate. No worries. Back to back, is it? I was just intrigued. I mean, obviously, when we first started out cold email outreach was one of our strategies years ago that got us our first sort of bedrock of clients um yeah. and it, it worked well for us and you know it obviously the the hit rate was was pretty thin but when you got them they are some of our most loyal customers all these years later in a weird way and one of the things we've had in the last few months is we've had a real wobble when we launched the new site with um them uh, with our traffic and with it, it's caused us a bit of a, a ruck that we're in now and one of my big things for 2024 is not being so so reliant on that one medium uh, especially around deliverability like deliverability of the emails is the most important thing if, mm. if they're landing in spam yeah it's end of course landing in more spam because it's great but all that kind of, sort of stuff um, but the most important thing to the success of the campaigns is like this ongoing optimization part. Okay. So there's two sort of key metrics in terms of how we judge like the success of the campaigns. One is how many people are opening these emails. Yeah. And two is how many people are responding to these emails. Uh, the initial setup fee depends uh, slightly on what we need to create to start with. Obviously, you guys say, yeah. have got some sort of developers and stuff like that. So if it was a case that we need to set up a landing page with a, yeah. like a sign up. Like yeah, so we would be able to take care of that. I think the thing we would need is just basically the the AI side of it structured, you know, all the all the cogs turning in the back end, and obviously yeah. pulling the data set and everything. We we could obviously provide you what we think is our sort of emails that have been successful in the past. Yeah, no okay, but. Oh, <sighs> wrapping up Tuesday, long day. Um, yeah, try and remain positive, but today's been a bit, a bit rough to be honest. Lots of, lots of delicate conversations which we couldn't film. Um, lots of frustrations that um, I've got internally that I also can't film. Um, yeah, just sometimes wish I just had a magic wand and I could 
wave everything away. It's days like this when you just think, you know, like literally, I don't know if I've even captured it because I've forgotten what day, what I've even videoed today, but I'm sure I've vlogged when I came out of the networking do this morning in Norwich and was sitting in the car saying what a really positive <laughs> mood I was in and how well everything was going. Um, and it's, yeah, I think that just sums up, and not just me, I don't think I'm any different. I, I spoke to lots of other people that are trying to build something and do, you know, run a business or, or you know, even in senior roles, it's not just about running a business, but anybody. Um, and yeah, it's so mad how it can just change from one hour to the next. Like everything can be going brilliant. And then you feel like, you you know, yeah, this is why we're doing this. It's, we're, we're on a roll, everything's looking up, da, da, da. And then it's like two or three things just go boom, 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 boom. And it's just like, and then you just feel like you just want to flop and be like, lock yourself in a room. And that's, uh, that's how I feel at the moment. I've got a couple more meetings into tonight with regards to... Uh, the, the flats, the project that we're doing there, and a couple of other snags and issues we've got. Um, and I'll be honest, I just do not have the energy. I feel absolutely battered today. Uh, and I just want to be, I just want to put myself in a room and be left alone. But that's not realistic. We keep going, we push on. Tomorrow's another day. Um, and I've got to try and take a few things not so personally and just uh, put a brave face on and keep going so yes sorry to end on a slightly less positive note but the whole point of this vlog was to show the reality and the highs and the lows of not every day is great and it's not all fluff that people like to post online so yeah not great but we'll go again tomorrow good night hello guys hello. yes are you good busy yeah the new hoops no not the wrong ones we sent the wrong one to buy Madeira. Uh, yeah. So what, they've sent 120s? Yeah, and the 210s. But we ordered them. We did order them. So we've done our bit, they yeah. just didn't yeah. do their bit. Yeah. But Cody says he's going to message them back, so... Yes. Right. Because, Sam, on last week's episode, we realised that because we don't have a certain size embroidery hoop, we're causing ourselves lots of issues and downtime for the lovely ladies in embroidery. The needles were bouncing off the edge on certain sizes and we were gonna have to shrink customers designs. Poor Jackie was having to be the go-between and communicate to the customers. And actually all we needed to do was get the wallet out and invest in some hoops, <laughs> which we've done. It just shows we're not the only company with problems. <laughs> Because even Madeira couldn't pick and pack some correct embroidery hoops. Yeah. <laughs> Jack, what's that? Just tell us. I think on by Thursday. By Thursday morning, I think we'll be caught up and. Of course what was your word? We're going to be absolutely. Well, I said golden, but now you're put on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be running around with this. That's what it's there for. Then we had a bit of we had a bit of food out of the system now. Tells us the dates they've put in, but not when they've got to go. So I can see that. More system problems. Where Why does that matter? Because some of them. Because we need to prioritise them based off of when they're going. Because if something comes. But down, this is only because we're behind schedule, wouldn't it? If yeah. we were, if we were like on top of it, we would just. Yeah. It wouldn't really matter. It's only because no. we lost. We were behind yeah. yesterday. Mm -hmm. But is Cody not? If if you're off, is Cody not jumping into your role for the day so that you're? Because I mean, really, we can't. <coughs> Is that not the case, or am I? He was doing the walk arounds, the night shift she but spent most time upstairs, so he, yeah, he's got his own stuff as well. Yeah. It's kind of thing where if one of the three of us is off, we can try and cover the gap, but that's where it's going to be. a day's catch up. Yeah, because if someone else is in here, they can take from Jack, Jack's workload. Mm. You know what I mean, when people coming in, but it's a constant oh, people coming I in see. and the issues. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah it can't I be guess, split. Like, yeah, it's just stretched too thin. Sort of yeah, because I was going to say, if he's doing a walk around, but it's not. It's the walk. It's the coming in and it. Yeah. It's just you think every person that comes in with a question. It's that. That's what's it's, killing us. It's I'm telling you. I've been to said it for absolutely weeks. Almost another drop down. Who has QC'd it with you? That QC form by what have come back eight credits. How much is that? Pounds. Oh, well. <laughs> I spoke to Sam, he said we can sell that, this thing. No, not the road. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> not the road, Mike. Yeah, you know, I was going to speak to you about tail texture, so. Okay, can't wait to read it. Oh, right. And uh, Jack, I believe, sent a, a notice and said, look, this is right, a, Mike. is this alright? And we got, yeah, that's fine. Oh, so, that's good. Yeah, oh, well, at least we've been well on it. Oh, yeah. It's not cool today, what do you think of their little gizmos? Yeah, yeah. Well, I, yeah, yeah. Well, I can't wait for blue roll. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Well, it's just easy <laughs> to wipe it down. I thought rather than micro fiber cloths, yeah. it's a lot more practical, isn't it? I think. Yeah. You know, you just pop in the bin. It's just easy. Otherwise, the micro fiber just gets filthy. Yeah. And then who's responsible for washing it? What do you think to the kitchen? It looks a bit better, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. It looks, it looks a lot neater. Yeah. It's still it's much bigger than a coffee machine. On, uh, yeah, it gives us a bit more room, doesn't it? Wow, Sam. My new freshly painted kitchen. It's not quite out of grand designs, but nice fresh coat of paint on the wall. Some little lean organisers. Looks a lot more, a lot neater than it did. Looked horrible in there a week ago. Little simple things that make me smile, Sam, if you want to see. These lovely organisers on the wall. Look, flash mop. Trip hazard sign, bin holders, look at that. It's the little things, I don't ask for a lot, just those little simple things that make people's lives a little bit easier. Is it going all right? Yeah. How, many, how many napkins? How many napkins? A thousand, a thousand napkins. Wow. The pursuit of better investment performance. Nice. Look good, mate. All, run, all going well with this machine then? Uh, it's really much really, yeah. It's a temperamental that was sold this machine, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Where I paid, I do have some tea times. <laughs> and then oh, just a few on my board. I jinxed board. it, yeah. I jinxed it. <laughs> I was watching something this morning by Ryan Tierney. If you don't follow him, follow him. Lean Made Simple. And he's, it was all about fix what bugs you. I've walked past this computer for the last five days and it's bugging me that it's so built. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna wipe it down because fix what bugs you in the moment. Absolutely disgusting. And he keeps abusing us. Keep saying, no, at prices like that, you're not getting nothing out of me. It's had it done it three times. It's, it, I'm sorry, but this is just an ego. But, but yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. got a bug. Let's get him on, Sam. Can you hear him loud and clear? Yeah. What is, yeah. That, what is that box you're holding, Sam? That's so you can see you in this job. Oh, Christ. <laughs> I actually feel like I'm going to be big. He's not normal. He's not messing about. Weird. Both figures matter. So we're going to get the bugs out of it. Yeah. 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 Ye
Uh, that's why we got busy. So, that's why we got busy, but it was more of a. So it's an artificial busy. It was an artificial busy because we needed cash very quickly to come in. So right, um, okay. it's not reality, and we need to tweak it back down again at the soonest possible moment because you're turning money for money's sake. So we are tracking that. Um, the, the, so the, the conversion rate on the website is up. So we're at like 9%, which is higher than we even were at our peak period on, on the old site. So we now know the landing page is right. What's not right is the organic. We're still about 15% hit on organic traffic. <laughs> <laughs> the floor's holding up well. <laughs> yes. Happy days. All right, everyone awake? Alive? Good.